Good day. Welcome to our top level qualification TLQ of our substation automation SICAM 8000 system. My name is Jorge Diaz and uh, I will present you this uh, TLQ divided in six modules. In the first module, we will show you what is our family, which modules we have in this family of RTUs. In the second module, I will show you how you can configure one of our smaller RTUs using the software SICAM Device Manager. In the third module, you will learn how you can implement your local user administration inside of the RTU. Then we will learn some other useful things like how you can initialize your RTU with the configuration you prepare, how you can return the RTU to factory settings, or how you can uh, implement uh, backup management of your configuration with SICAM Device Manager. So we will start with the module overview of the SICAM 8000 RTU. All the SICAM 8000 family started with this small RTU you can see on the screen, the CP8000. This is a compact RTU which is fully equipped already. It has one 24 volt power supply included. It has one module with binary inputs, one module with binary output, four interfaces, two of them LAN ports, Ethernet, and two serial ports. It supports four com uh, communication protocols up to 20,000 data points. It has also uh, a screen where you can monitor the status of the binary inputs and outputs in the RTU. Then it was followed by the CP8021. This is exactly the same processor, same capacity as the CP8000 only without a screen and without power supply, which provides some advantages as you, as you will see. Then the CP8022 came along. This exactly same hardware as the CP8021 with two slightly improvements. One additional serial port, which could be configured to be RS-232 or RS-485, and one built-in GPRS modem. So wireless communication is already available with this RTU. Now, for these two RTUs, you can select the power supply you want to have. You are no longer restricted to 24 volts. You can select uh, up to two of these power supplies. So you ha can have also redundancy. The RTU would never be switched off because your power supply failed. You can expand the amount of binary inputs in all of these RTUs. You can have up to eight input output modules on each RTU. Now the CP8000 already has one binary input and one binary, uh, binary output module, so you can attach up to six additional modules. For this you need the CM8811 coupling module. For the other RTUs, the CP8021, 22, you can uh, adapt uh, additional modules without the need of a coupling module. And these are the modules that we have available. You have modules for binary inputs, 16 on each. You have module for binary outputs, the O8212, with eight binary outputs. You have modules for direct measures from temperature transducers of the type PT100, for example, the AI8310. You have also module for uh, measurement of uh, transducer uh, like 20 milliampere or 10 volt, the AI8320. You can also measure three-phase uh, systems through the modules AI8510 or AI8511, which uses uh, low power current inputs or of the type 225 milliampere. If you want to connect one three-phase system to one of these modules, then you need the converter CM8820. This adapter converts the current transformer signal of one ampere or five ampere to the required low power signal, and it can be wired directly to the I, I module. We have also module for analog output of the type 20 milliampere or 10 volt. So any measurement that comes to the RTU can be converted to an analog signal. Now, our RTUs are quite small, so you can install them on any panel that you want. But they can still have the inputs and outputs animated through LEDs. For that, we have the LED module CM8830. You just need to plug in, in the RTU, 
and then it will automatically reflect the status of the inputs and outputs of your RTU. This module is of course not counted in the eight module limit that you have in the RTUs. It's transparent module. So for each group of eight modules, you can have one of these modules animate all the uh, statuses in the uh, inputs and outputs. Where do you install these modules? These modules can be installed anywhere in the RTU, as long as they are to the right of the power supply. In the CP8000 that has the built-in power supply, then they could be connected directly to the right or could be further to the left. In our other RTUs, you can see it could be connected directly attached to this power supply or in the middle of the input output modules or completely to the right, no problem. After these smaller RTUs, we came with the CP8050, which is a very, very large RTU. But if you see the CP8050 size, you see it's exactly the same as the CP8021. Also, for interfaces, the operating system is Linux. And as opposed to the smaller RTUs, which support only 20,000 data points, here we are talking about 400,000 data points. So 20 times the size of the smaller RTUs. You can power up this uh, RTU with the same power supplies that you use for the smaller RTUs. So you can have the same spare parts, for example, if you are having both types of RTUs, you don't only have to prepare spare parts for one and it works for all the family, one advantage. You can also use the same modules that you use, input output modules that you use for the smaller RTUs, you can also use in the CP8050 with some additions. So there are some modules that cannot be used in the smaller RTUs, but can be used in the CP8050, like the DO8221, which uh, is a module that uh, lets you, for example, check the circuitry of the command that you're going to send in advance before you try to send it. Or the DO8230, which has 16 outputs, transistor outputs. Transistor outputs are faster than regular outputs and it also provides a higher density. 16 outputs instead of only eight. We have also the models AI8330 and AI8340. This is for direct reading of three-phase systems. This provide better performance than the regular AI8510 and 11, and you can also perform functions like synchro check with this. These, however, are not released for sales worldwide. So you, if you are interested in these models, please contact your local Siemens sales representative. You are, with the CP8050, not limited to eight modules attached directly to the RTU. You can have these uh, modules connected remotely. For that, you use the remote I.O. modules CI8530, 31, 32, or 33. These modules work as power supply for these uh, external rows of I.O. modules and provide an interface. Could be LAN interface, so you can have one row of I.O.s connected up to 100 meters away of the CP8050, or it could be fiber optic, so you can have distances of up to two kilometers or more. You can also extend the amount of LAN or serial ports that you have in the RTU. You, if you use the model CI8520, you have five additional LAN ports available in the RTU. If you use the CI8522, you have also five LAN ports, but two of them are coming with SFP modules, fiber optic, LC connector, distance up to two kilometer. You can also configure these ports to work in redundant fashion, either RSTP or HSR or PRP. If you need additional serial ports, you can have also the CI8551, which provides five additional serial ports. Some of them RS232, some of them RS485, and you can have up to six of these modules in your RTU. So you really have the possibility to equip all the modules that you need in your system. You have additional functionalities in the CP8050 with the Linux operating system. You have redundancy, firmware-based, so your configuration efforts are to a minimum. 
expansion possibilities. You are not limited to the eight communication protocols that you can equip by default in the CP8050, but you can expand them to be up to 24 different communication instances. Firewall built in in the RTU, which is a huge advantage regarding cybersecurity. You can also equip your own prepared applications. You can build in your own application to use the data of the RTU and provide additional services. You can uh, hire a, a skilled developer and build an application and load it in the CP8015, the same hardware that you already have for other functions. We also support with the CP8050 the RAC solution, so the modules of the CCAM AK family can still be used with the CP8050. And finally, with the CP8050, you also have a web-based HMI. You can have even your single line diagrams uh, directly connected in the RTU via CCAM web. Now, the CP8050 can be used distributed, as uh, we mentioned, with external rows. In this example, we can see we can have up to 15 external rows connected via LAN cable, each cable up to 100 meters. So this would cover a really large station. You, if you need more than 100 meters, but you want to keep LAN electric connection, you can use one CI8530, for example, only as a repeater to have two lines connected. So you have, instead of 100 meter distance, up to 200 distance, 200 meter distance. Or you can use one of our models with fiber optic. And in this case, you can have uh, the distance between two rows to be two kilometers or more. So we are talking about a really large physical substation monitor in only one RTU. The Linux-based system provides a lot of advantages regarding cybersecurity, for example, regarding possibility of CAPS. We wanted to bring these features to the smaller RTUs. So for that came the newest member of the family, the CP8031. This is also based on Linux as the CP8050. It has the same size as a small RTU, up to 20,000 data points, provides four interfaces, two LAN, two serial ports, four protocols, but includes, as the CP8050, a built-in firewall. You can equip one CAP here, and you can also configure here, for example, VLANs. Same power supplies as for the whole unit, and all the same IO modules that can be used for the CP8050 can be used in the CP8031. In addition, you have the LED module, as in the whole family, and web-based HMI as in the CP8050. So with the CP8031, you are really bringing a lot of functionalities to the smaller RTUs. Our family of RTUs can be used also to modernize older CCAM TM stations. So for that, you just need our RTU regular with the power supply, and then you need an, a, a coupling module the CP, CM6811 or the CM6812, depending on the R type of RTU that you have. And you can connect them directly the TM modules that you have in your older CCAM TM to the RTU. You don't need to do any rewiring. You can keep the wiring as it was, just a small uh, changes in the configuration, and that's it. Your system has been migrated without a, a lot of effort, minimizing the need to perform new tests. You can see here some examples of how these uh, migrated systems could look like. And also with the racks, you can use this rack solution for new stations or also to migrate older CCAM AK systems. You have the CP8050 for that. And then for the connection of an external rack, you need this CI2530 module. This module you install in the rack, and then this would work to communicate the whole rack to the CP8050 through a LAN connection. You can see you can have up to four external racks connected. On each rack, you can have up to 16 IO modules 
of the rack family, which provides a lot of higher density. For example, one binary input module has 64 inputs, as opposed to 16 in the normal uh, 8000 family. Or the same for binary outputs, 64 versus 8. You can also mix racks with a standard I.O. rows. And also you can have redundancy in the CP8050 while having single periphery, as shown in this uh, picture here. So, as you can see, our RTUs bring the whole functionality to um, automate, to monitor your system, wherever energy flows, as a single gateway protocol converter, or for the automation of solar and eolic parks, or for intelligent local network stations, for power distribution systems, for industry, for transportation, or for energy transmission and generation. There is a small correction we must perform on the content of this web TLQ. We mentioned that the models AI8330 and AI8340 had a limited sales release. This was true up to November last year, but now they have received a limited sales release, so you can order them for your CCAM A8000 RTUs, CP8031 or CP8050 whenever you need them. Regardless regardless of where your project will be located. This is a wonderful news, with which we are sure you will be able to bring even more value from our CCAM 8000 family. Basically, this is uh, the description of our um, CCAM 8000 family, and now we will move to the next module to see how you can configure our system.